Okay, hey everyone. So, you may have noticed that MoYu announced their magnetic cube, and I'm gonna do a full disclaimer. I make no amount of money per each cube you buy. I'm not making this video to sell more cubes, because just like any other adult, I make a wage, a salary, I make the same amount of money a month, give or take a few bucks, and it makes no difference to me however many cubes I sell. I'm not, this is totally neutral. But mathematically and geometrically, I've put some work into choosing the magnets for the GTS2, the cubicle version, the magnetic one. And I'm gonna explain why our version is better. So if you felt the GANs or the GANs UM, you might notice that the click is very strong, but the magnets are quite small. They're about three millimeters wide. Consider this crude drawing, figure one of a Rubik's cube. Now, a three millimeter magnet is about this big and its field is about this big. Now, remember the square, the inverse square law where the farther you get away from the magnet, the weaker it is. And remember that the magnet strength is only very strong right on top of each other. The angles of actuation from the radius are only about five to eight degrees. We're gonna call that theta one, five to eight degrees. And because of that very small angle of actuation, you're gonna feel a very distinct, very, the click is very in your face. There's more, the better words for it, but it's very late. Um, and I don't know a better word off the top of my head. Now, most people think that the four by two magnet is the end all be all magnet. I'm sorry to say, but you are all very, very wrong. We are not even close to the future of magnets and Rubik's cubes. I'm here to tell you that the future of cubes is gonna be so much better than what we have today. We will look back on this day and say that everything we had was very primitive. We're not even close. And mathematically, I'm gonna tell you why. The magnet in the normal GTS-2 is five millimeters across. Its magnetic field is significantly bigger. And if you think about it, that's two millimeters bigger per magnet, big deal. Not only is it two millimeters, there's four magnets. So that two millimeters becomes eight millimeters in the total radius of this cube. So the angles of actuation are significantly higher. And remember again, the magnet strength is only very strong head on. And because that weak gradient of force as you approach, the cube feels much smoother and it's not such a distinct click, but you still get the, the stability and the feel of the magnets. This is theta two. Um, that was a bit exaggerated. Theta 2 is about 10 to 15 degrees. It's actually a big difference that you can actually feel. Now, I'm going to blow your, well, maybe not blow your minds, but I'm going to explain why the future of cubing is still not yet here. There are better options. If we had a completely crescent-shaped magnet, or even a totally magnetic track along all of these pieces, Recall again that magnetism is only very strong head on. As you get away from the perfect angles, magnetic strength rapidly decreases. So if you could have this crescent shaped magnet, a very thin, flat, but very powerful magnet, if you could get a magnet about half a millimeter thick, N60, and a whole track along the corner, or even better, the center, those angles of actuation the ideal, it's gonna be about 40 degrees to 60, which is ridiculous. That's theta three. And when you get, when you reach that perfect stage of magnetism, when you can get a fully magnetic track on the pieces, you're gonna get a really, really cool effect where if you overturn, and since the magnets are only strong head on, you get this backlash about a few degrees uh, three to four degrees, it's actually noticeable, where if you overturn, the cube will gently turn back into place as you release it, and it's a very subtle feeling. It's like a jello-y gelatin, it just comes back, and it's not a distinct, powerful feeling. It's very gentle, and that is the future of cubing. Fully stable, fully smooth, no distinct click. The feeling is there, the stability, the magnetism is there, but once you reach this level of fully magnetic tracks, this is the future. Unfortunately, we aren't there yet, but we will be. There is a compromise, and I'm gonna reveal it right now.
rectangular thin magnets. If you use very, very thin magnets with a very close radius, I'm going to show you how thin these are. This is two, two magnets. They're very thin and they are rectangular. I dropped some. Rectangular magnets. Consider the geometry. A rectangular magnet, theta four, it's a pro look at how big that angle is. A, re a rectangle is only a few degrees short of the perfect crescent shape. Theta four, I'm just gonna guess a number, it's between 35 to 40 degrees of magnetic force, of angles of actuation. And I'm going to say it a third time. Magnets are only very powerful head-on. As you get away from this perfect ideal spot, the force rapidly diminishes, and what you end up with is a ridiculously stable, very smooth cube. Unfortunately, rectangular magnets to put in cubes is a big pain, and many cubes cannot accept them. And that is why we don't offer them here at Cubicle Labs. If I could do an easy way to do it, I absolutely would, but... We have a lot of issues with the magnets bending during assembly. They're not sticking as well because they don't get a nice flush hold on the plastic. This is, it, you need to design a cube around this to have this to work and this is gonna be the future. But currently the best thing we can do is a very thin, very strong magnet that fits perfectly in the cube. And that is the magnet we use here at Cubicle Labs. This is why I'm defending my choice of magnet for the Cubicle Premium magnetic GTS V2M. And I don't care about the sales. I just want to get the knowledge out there so that one day we can have a better cube. Um, the secret is thinner, stronger, wider magnets that approximate this perfect crescent shape. Rectangles is the way to go. Thin, wide, strong rectangles. Um, I hope the geometry didn't go over your heads, but this is the geometric mathematical reason why our cubes are better. So thanks for listening, and um, I guess that's it.